Good day, this is Greg Caleb, PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Dicker. For because I continue to work on the proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter. And the reason why I do that is it took me 60 years to understand and to formulate what is going on in Christianity, the body of Christ. Donald Trump, the rabbis, and the third temple. It sounds a joke, but it isn't, folks. Right now, President, former President Donald Trump is indicted for sedition, for a whole bunch of slew. Six people died because of an insurrection. And then we have Christianity, the body of Christ, evangelicals, totally blinded, praying for a man that we all need to pray for because every sinner is worth in the eyes of the Lord and therefore in my eyes. But if Mr. Trump, the rabbis, are working on the third temple and Christianity wants to support that, I've got news for you folks. You are in a bad position because you're doomed to fail. See, the problem is that we have a spiritual kingdom and we're trying to desperately create with our own hands a kingdom that God does not want. God specifically said what he wants us to do and then he gives us examples of what we need to do. And we are so great, so awesome, we are so incredible, stupid, that we still do not understand. I've called out Sid Roth, Paula White, Kenneth Copeland, John Hakey, Pat Robertson, and many, many others. I put them in my videos. Folks, contact me. If I'm wrong, please let me know. But I warn you, don't go and continue doing what you're doing. If God does not speak and you say, thus says the Lord, and you make your people, your followers, follow you, spending millions of dollars with Mr. Trump, who is a disaster. And now, on top of it, oh folks, you figure it out. I am here only to share what the Lord wants you to know, because I needed to know it. Yes, it is important that everyone understands the difference between wheat and seed. And right now you're blowing a lot of wheat. You're wheat spreaders, super spreaders. And Mr. Trump was a perfect example of being a super spreader. But without his enablers, the body of Christ, he would never have been able to do what he did. And therefore, folks, pay attention, because this is very important. I want you to make up your mind. Are you going to vote that Mr. Trump is guilty of sedition? insurrection and all kinds of other things that are being presented before the court very soon, the Senate, they have to vote on it. It takes a few more weeks. So you don't have to make up your mind right away, but I strongly recommend that you pay attention to this. Is Mr. Trump guilty of an insurrection? And if he is, what about his enablers? You. Anybody that voted for Trump, that paid cash, and is still paying cash because hundreds of millions of dollars are wasted. Yes, folks, you are wasting your money. And if you really want to support somebody, why don't you subscribe to me? I need a thousand subscribers. That's all. Whether you like or don't like what I say, just subscribe. That helps me and I can be in help of, to you because there is so much more that we need to deal with. And I realized that the majority of churches does not want to deal with this because it is painful, folks. You know why I've been able to do this? Because I had to learn the law. And I like to share that with you and come to an understanding why it is so important to understand Donald Trump. Is Donald a bad dude? Unfortunately, he's shown in his actions that the man knows how to go bankrupt, loses billions of dollars, screws everyone around, and yes, you know, I don't have to tell you what he is. He's a narcissist. But 
It's not about him. It's about your position that you take. And your stand will determine how you and your family and your loved ones will end up. Are we going to meet together when the Lord comes and when he sits down with us? Or are we going foolishness just after an idiot, a man that has no brains other than me, me, me and myself? So let's go and check out why this session is so important. Now there are a couple of things that we have to set up first. First of all, it does not matter if you are a Roman Catholic or a Protestant. And I'll tell you why. Very early in the beginning, when God created this world, he created Adam and Eve. And a majority of men in the GOP, and I'm talking about the American system, the Republicans, they think that it is white men running a white Christian organization with white lots of money. Of course that's stupid, because right now a lot of people have recognized there are brown people and there are black people and there are all kinds of other people in between because it's immaterial. But the old GOP under Mr. Trump wants to hold on to the fact that the mill is the leader. And the wider you are, the better you are. Well, when we look at the creation of God Almighty, He looks at two types of people. He doesn't look at whether you're white or black, or whether you have a yellow hat or a black hat. Nobody cares. God looks for, are you following the way or not? That's all. And if you are black, if you're yellow, if you're green, if you're from Greenland, or you happen to be an American that had its name Trump, it does not matter. If you are not on the way, and you're not following the way, you can call yourself whatever you are under the sun, but you are missing the boat. Why can I say that so strongly? Because it is proven in the stories, the fables, the uh, story, the little system that Yeshua used to speak simple to a normal person. In other words, someone that is not educated in theology, someone that is just a normal individual. And he said, blessed are those. So if you are poor, if you are searching, if you are looking for God, God wants you in his house. But if you are a sophisticated, rich dude that has everything and doesn't care about nobody, then too bad, because you will have another problem coming. So let's go back to creation. When Adam and Eve started out, they were husband and wife. Now I know that I'm gonna step on a lot of toes when I say certain things, but I say it in love. God is an awesome God, and He speaks at a level of sophistication that very few of us understand. I am just barely touching the bottom, and I tell you, for me, what has happened over the last 20 years is unbelievable. It started for me in 1950, uh, sorry, when I was born, and in 2000s, when I got a business that was doing very well. My business was uh, doing millions of dollars, generating all of a sudden assets up to the billions of dollars. And so-called we had it made. We lived nice, we traveled nice, we had friends all over the place. And I was busy until I ran into a snag. And that is where my eyes actually started to open. Before I had always a challenge what is it with Adam and Eve? I was married now by now for uh, 24 years when I was what, 2000. We had been married for 24 years with two beautiful kids. We had a third, but he passed away. 
So that was an experience in itself. But the reality was we were working, we were successful till I run into a situation that really made me think about lots of issues. And one of them was, why are we meeting over the border in Cancun, listening to a speaker that is explaining the real issues about money? I used to work on Wall Street. I learned a lot from the bankers that I worked with. And when I went back, I applied it and we became successful. But one thing I did not realize, that was that the people that were controlling the banking, the politics and religion were all the same. You say, how is that not possible? Yes, folks, if you have Freemasons that are running the politics, P, and the money, M, and S, the spirituality or religion, what do you get? PMS. And some women say, oh, don't talk about it because it is painful for some people. But if you are on the side of God and you understand God's position, God created us. He gave us a physical body. He gave us a mental ability that we could talk and walk and communicate with God. And he made us spiritual. But the moment we sided with Satan, we had a problem because God had to step in, otherwise we would have been lost forever. So it was for our own good that God had set Adam and Eve aside. And so when Adam came to his senses, he recognized that something was wrong. And that is the same with, with us now. We are now in 2021. We're going to see the second impeachment from Mr. Trump. Now, he is the first in over 200 years, 250 years that is impeached twice. But the reality is, aren't we all impeaching ourselves? I've had pastors asking me, well, what is wrong with Mr. Trump when I wrote a book about it? And that was in 2019. It took me seven years to write that book. So it was not something that just came about. And reality is, what is so wrong with the system that we have today? See, we are carnal. We are working in the flesh. And the body of Christ, the majority of them, seem to be charismatics. People that say, praise the Lord and hallelujah, and can sing fantastic. But the reality is, they are carnal. And why am I saying that? Is John Hakey carnal? Is Kenneth Copeland carnal? Is Pat Robertson carnal? Is Sid Roth carnal? Yes, folks. Paula White, yes, folks. And why is that such an indictment? Because we need to shake up. I know that a lot of people will say, oh no, don't touch that subject. Folks, I had to learn for 20 years in court what it means to have evidence when you make a statement, what it means to have material that you can base your case on. I came to understand Paul after I was in court. 12 years, actually, eight years with lawyers and, and 12 years without lawyers. We spent millions of dollars because one Freemason happens to be a friend of mine, the head of the Freemasons, on top of it. He said, you will regret that you'll walk out of that door and do not accept my offer. At that time, I didn't know what it meant. But now, so many years later, having lost millions of dollars, billions of collateral, I know now what it means. And I'm sharing with you folks, not something I read about, but what I went through. I went to jail for six years, times three, or they sentenced me to jail, and I served three years of that because we won an appeal. But reality is, it's not what happened to me, it's what I learned that I'm sharing with you. You all can up, end up in a situation. Some of you might even feel that the pandemic has helped you to clarify your lifestyle. But this here is so important, folks. 
Why are the majority of Christians voting for Trump, still siding with Trump? Even after the insurrection, they are praying Mr. Trump because he is told that he is like a king that was used years ago, many centuries ago. And Mr. Trump would be used for the end time, the third temple. Uh, folks, I hate to tell you, and I'm the one that's gonna inform you, you're wrong. It's immaterial. If you have a group of people that are all aiming for one thing, then you say, what is happening? Oh, the end time is coming. Jesus is coming back and we have to prepare ourselves. But folks, how can you find out how to prepare for the end time if you are not even in the game? Yes. See, when Jeshua came, and that is by the way his name, Jeshua HaMashiach, and they turned that around over the ages into Jesus, we had a little problem. Because Jeshua never came to become a God. He never became a triune. He was just a messenger. And he served what he came to do. He served God Almighty. And he became the first person. The first one that was reunited with God. Restorative justice was finally applied. And now we have a, a feast. A great feast because we have an example it's like the four mile a lot of people that are running are trying to reach a mile and they trying to reach it within a certain time till someone broke that level and then other people started to believe and the same with Jesus Jesua when he broke that pattern and he restored the relationship between God the Father and us mankind humanity we now had an example and god said i want you to follow that way the way the way the truth and the light and what do we do after 300 years the majority of jewish believers were killed off because people did not like the jewish people they always stood on the word of god they were reliable people they were awesome christians and what did they do they now had a stooge, a person that was a believer. He was Hoyam, he was a outsider. He didn't know the relationship between God and his people. And therefore, when they were forced by a emperor of Rome, Constantine I in 325, they accepted his offer because it was either you accept it or I kill you. And most people don't have a hard time making a decision. Okay, I'll follow you. And from there on, they became Christians. From there on, they became also the Roman Catholic Church. So if you are a Roman Catholic and I step on your toes, I'm sorry, folks. But somebody got to tell you the truth. And if the truth doesn't sit well with you, then pray about it. If you are now Roman Catholic or a Pentecostal, you are a reformed person, you think, and you are still based on the old traditions of the Roman Catholic Church, you are a pagan Christian. And I know a pagan Christian will have still some flowers and some beauty in it and everything, but I want you to wake up because it is proven with Mr. Trump how disastrous the situation was. Mr. Trump incites people and then he says, so what? I didn't do anything. Six people got killed. Many people lose a great job because they got involved with following a person that is not even thinking about anybody else but himself. And so we have a problem now. We are going to restore the temple, the third temple. But folks, let's go back to what I just shared with you, Adam and Eve. They were husband and wife, and they were perfected in God Almighty. Not just a man, not just a woman. See, when I got married, I'd been on the street, I'd been on my own for quite some time because situations developed. 
it's immaterial what happened. But what is really important is that what I learned out of it, I've always been on my own. As a child, uh, my mom passed away and I got, with my brothers and sisters, sent to an orphanage. We grew up, basically we had the same name, but I don't know them. And then when my father remarried, after seven years I came home. I was 13 years of age and was not used to a family, so very shortly thereafter I was on the street and I've been on my own since then. So there are certain things I had to learn different than the majority of you that maybe was, that grew up in a normal family circumstance. And because of that, I've always been very cautious in absorbing. I always listen, what is happening? Why is this happening? And so we have the same problem now that we have a Christianity. But what is Christianity? Christianity is pagan religion to you call it faith. You see miracles but folks we have been hoodwinked. Reality is that the moment Constantine made this a Christian organization it was no longer God. It was a big weed spreader. Weed grew up. And I know God's love is so great that he can take something out of it. But I want you to be aware that when you choose for Trump and when you choose for restoring the third temple, that the third temple, the secret is, it's when you follow the way, the truth and the light, that is where you find reality. The third temple is within us. And why is that narrow path so important? Because God Almighty is on that narrow path. It's His presence. See, we got disconnected from the presence of the Lord. And when God's Spirit comes back with us, and He comes in us, and He lives within us, the temple is us. But a carnal-minded man, whether you're Jewish, Yes, folks, the Jews were the first people that got in covenant with God. But they refused it. They were drinking, smoking maybe, doing anything under the moon when Moses went up to the hill to get the covenant from God. And when he came down, he was so upset. And he threw those down and they got smatter to smatterings. When he went back up to God, God said, don't worry, that covenant was for the children of light. I give you now the Ten Commandments for the children that are living in the darkness. And that darkness, that is what we are facing today. In 2021, we are facing the darkness and we're seeing it around us and we're praying our heart out. And maybe that's all we know because that's all we, we understand of God. But God is so much more. God said, if you go and follow the way, the truth and the light, my presence is there. I will teach you. I will help you. And God's spirit will educate you. And as you grow older in the spirit of God, a wonderful thing is going to happen. You don't need to worry about the end time because it's none of your business. Yes, folks. You do not have to worry about the end time. And anybody that wants money for some kind of story that they're telling you because they're working on the third temple, that's not necessary. See, there is a problem, and I put it together in slides and in a video, but I realize that so many people do not understand what it means if you are working with Freemasons together with other people you are already on the wrong track if your pastor says well thus says the Lord and it doesn't happen because Mr. Trump got booted out or voted out because people are fed up with a man that constantly lies and does whatever he wants just to destroy then you need to wake up Today is another day. God is an awesome God. And he gives us again another opportunity. But if we come back 
to what the Bible says. And if we come back to the understanding that when that sword said, come and follow me, it's not just, oh, praise the Lord, I'm a Christian. That is what Constantine I made out of it. A pagan Christianity will never fly. You are still pagans. You sound very great, you pray in tongues, but really praying in tongues was for another purpose. And so if you want to follow Jesua and want to humble yourself, like I had to do, I really had to do it because I ended up in jail and sitting in a cell for a very long time, 22 hours and two hours yard time is no fun. And you start wondering what in the world got me here? Now we have people praying for Mr. Trump that he gets through this ordeal. The rabbis are ready. The third temple is ready. And they don't understand that this is carnal. See, our Jewish friends had the first covenant agreement with God and they refused it. Then <clears throat> when Jesua came, they killed him. And then when the heathens had an opportunity, the Choyim, the outcasts, the people that were outsiders, when they got an opportunity for 300 years, everything was fine. And then they screwed it up because Constantine gave you an option. Either we kill you or you become a Christian. And now we're Christians. And what do we do? We vote for Trump. We follow Trump. And he is going to be used for the end time. And the third temple is inside. God is restoring his temple inside of us. But what do they know? Our pastor says he got a word from God. Folks, if your pastor spoke about following Trump, repent, because your pastor is not the prophet from God that you expect it to be. So, by praying, seeking, God will answer, but you got to be first willing to accept the fact that maybe your foundation wasn't right. And if your foundation has been your whole life like mine, it took me a while to accept it and to understand what was going on. Why am I sharing this with you? I've turned 71 this year, folks. And I tell you, I have a lot to share because God made us to live forever. We don't need to die when we are 60, 70, 80 years of age, or some of you folks learn to die when you're younger. We are supposed to be the creation, the crown of God's glory. But we got to learn to understand the word of God. And if you're worried about the third temple, folks, don't worry about it. Think about repentance as the son of God, the prodigal son said, Father, forgive me. And God said, come here, my son. Come here, my daughter. And when you learn that husband and wife together, we are a team. I don't have to fight my wife. And of course we have had to fight my wife and I. But I've learned that I am the one that supports her. I am an example. I need to treat her right. And there are so many things we are going to learn. But first and foremost, we need to learn to accept the fact maybe what you have been taught was wrong. And if you can see your way through to ask God, what is it that Brad Caleb is talking about? I am sharing with you folks that this is the time. This is the time because things are changing soon. And that is correct. But God is an awesome God. And he says, when you come to him, he will take you. But you got to first come as a prodigal son. And forget all the stuff that you've learned. And I know that's very hard. So you will have a hard time with it. And contact me. And if you don't like what I say, subscribe. Just to support me one way or another. Subscribe. I can use your help there. And maybe you can use my help as you start to digest what I'm sharing with you. And folks, remember, tough times never last, but tough people do. And therefore, you are more than welcome to respond. And I would love to help you.
but you need to first think about it. What is it with that third temple? Why is my pastor so much in favor of it? If you have to deal with the Freemasons, I tell you up front, you're dealing with the devil. And if you need to shake hands with the devil in order to serve God, there's something wrong in that structure. God doesn't need the devil. But if that's the way you want to go, bless your heart, friend. But maybe there is another way to seek his presence. Seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. And all those other things shall be added unto you. So therefore, give it a chance. God bless you. Bye for now.